Hello! Wow, I never thought we would meet or meet again. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you know me from before, you would know that I used to make YouTube videos and I was kind of all over the place. Well, after a long introspection and a lot of decisions, I've decided to finally come back to YouTube, but with a completely different look. So just a bit of background information. Anyways, for all the newcomers, my name is Pia and I have been living in the Netherlands for a year and eight months now. As you can see by the name of my channel, I'm not that Dutch and that's because I was actually born in the Caribbean. I'm here because I'm married to a Dutch guy. If you were here on my channel before, you would have seen all that stuff going on and then wedding and then boom, 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 now I'm in the Netherlands. Yeah, that's why I'm here. So the purpose of this channel is to help all those people who have recently moved to the Netherlands or planning, thinking about moving to the Netherlands. This is for you guys, you migrants, for you to get all the information that you need to know about moving here what life is like, some of the struggles, some of the good things, the bad things. I want you to also hear from Dutch people and also people who have been living here as an expat or migrant for a period of time. I know when I was first moving here that I was always on the internet looking for information about life here, how am I gonna struggle knowing that I'm moving completely away from my family and I'm going to be in this whole foreign country that I know nothing about. So that's why I decided to make it my purpose to share information with you guys. The information that I would have wanted to know moving here and things that have really helped me. For all those question marks, let's get to the bottom of it. Disclaimer. I need to send out a disclaimer because once I've made a video about a country and it was not really negative things or whatever, just my experience. And I got a lot of hate, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know if you're Dutch, this is not meant to be offensive. This is just information for people, what people have said versus what actually happened. So this information is going to be about people's experiences and not necessarily opinion. Okay, migrants, enough chit chat. You probably clicked this video because you wanted to find out information on what are some of the difficult things about living here in the Netherlands. So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. So I gathered some information from Facebook groups. I'll make a whole another video on that. They're very beneficial if you're first moving here. Um, I will share all that information for you in another video. But I went there and I asked all these expats what is the most difficult thing about moving to the Netherlands? So we're gonna touch on a few of these things. Before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button so you can keep alerted on when I post my next video. It's gonna be pretty good. Also just share the love, keep me motivated so I can actually continue keeping up these videos. So I made this post for all these expats and the most common difficulty I saw was about the Dutch healthcare system. So let's talk a little bit about the Dutch healthcare system and actually hear what people said about it and I will also share my experience. Okay, this person said, I have struggled with the Dutch healthcare system. General practitioners are just gatekeepers between you and the hospital. All they know is paracetamol. Another person just simply said, Healthcare system. Worst experience so far. Paracetamol instead of proper treatment and prescriptions. Plus, can get to a specific doctor or get quick blood tests with results on her email without meeting general practitioner and convincing him you really need it. Let's talk about Dutch healthcare system. Uh, just so you guys know, I actually filtered through all these comments because I think there's a difference between people just complaining about convenience and something that's actually an issue. So I'm only gonna pick and choose some of the things I think that are worth talking about. Even before I moved here, I've heard a lot about the Dutch healthcare system and not really that you do not have the right resources, but maybe it's very difficult to get what you actually want. I went in with this mindset like, okay, what is my experience going to be like? 
Um, I finally went to a doctor here and I was like, okay, let's see how it goes because I had a list of things that were wrong with me. And I came to the doctor and I told them about my stuff and she kind of was just like, okay. The doctor did not offer really a solution or really tried to seem very interested or asked me certain questions. I'll just give you a little example. I got this piercing, I think over a year ago, and um, it kept getting infected even after a year. And I've done research and I've been cleaning it right and it just kept getting infected. So I said, okay, I'll ask the doctor about it. And the doctor just said, just take it out. <laughs> so I didn't really spend money to get a piercing just to take it out. You know, I want you to help me actually figure out what's wrong why it keeps getting infected or give me a solution to actually fix the problem the doctor did not say oh maybe you need to try something else maybe you need to do this no um and eventually i went and spoke to somebody else who was a nurse and they gave me a solution for my air i tried two different things just on my own problem solved not by the doctor though a lot of people also have talked about the whole paracetamol thing that the doctors will just give you a paracetamol prescription if you come about an issue um, i've heard a lot of the times that the doctors don't really try to solve your problem and i've even heard from a nurse that actually the doctors they think they believe that uh, these type of health issues or a lot of health issues are just solved with time and rest but this is very dangerous because Sometimes things may start small, like maybe you're getting regular headaches and the doctor's just like, oh, take paracetamol. And then you find out you have a brain tumor or something like this. So I have heard from both Dutch and non-Dutch that the doctors can be this way. And if you want to get something done, you have to really push it. You have to tell the doctor, hey, I want to get a blood test. I want you to test this and this and this and this. I think this and this and this is wrong. So can you test that? It's a bit uh, not cool that you have to do it that way, but if you really do need to get something done and you think something is genuinely wrong with you, then you may have to push a bit extra to get what you want and do your own research. Let's talk about the weather. I've lived here five years and I'm from Northern England. Technically, we have the same weather as NL, but here it can change six times in a day, all four seasons. Taj Rider sucks and the wind, OMG. I think the weather thing is, okay, Dutch weather is very bipolar. Honestly, you can see sun and then five minutes later it's like a thunderstorm. But I know this is not like a Dutch thing. I know this happens in many countries. So just something to be aware of. In the winter, it's best to get a jacket that is rainproof, okay? <laughs> just, just get a jacket that is rainproof. Always have a rainproof jacket. Please, okay, even in the summer, you need a raincoat. Just get one. Not only that, the Netherlands is a very windy country. That's because it's so flat and there's a coast. So there's gonna be wind a lot of the time. So if it's really 10 degrees, chances are the wind is making it feel like a six, okay? So it's always going to be windy. So not only should your jacket be rainproof, but it should also be windproof. Because when you get these two together, Guys, it's not good. It's not a fun time. Let me just check the weather app. Oh my goodness, tomorrow is gonna be 20 degrees. <laughs> Guys, the weather app is completely unreliable in the Netherlands. It changes really, really fast. Sometimes it even says, it's sun. And I look outside, it's literally raining. So I'm not going to share the posts about food, but, a lot of people do complain about Dutch food. <sighs> I would just say that it's not for everybody. There are different types of food such as stompot or erten soup or the Dutch fry snacks. I personally think it's fine. It's not something that I'm going to eat every day. It's pretty simple food, you know, like potatoes, beef, vegetables, or just the deep fried stuff. It's not too special, it's not like fine dining cuisine or anything, but it's food, 
get over it people just so you know uh, if you're living maybe in a Dutch family this is the type of food you will get the last one I'm not really sure how to categorize so I'll just read it for you this person says I'm from the US and I moved here two and a half years ago I find the hardest part is availability I was living in Chicago where you have anything you need close by and also stores open basically every day all day I'm now living in a small town where that just isn't possible and has been a hard adjustment they also just don't have the assortment of products as well. Have a lot of trouble finding ingredients and foods and products that I would have back home. So I think this is an issue about convenience and yeah, in America, you're able to get things really quickly anytime, you know, there are a lot of stores, as she says, open every day, all day. Whereas in the Netherlands, you can have, I think on Sundays, their um, stores are not really open often and stores close generally maybe six o'clock latest and in different cities they actually have a certain day of the week where they open until late so for example in rotterdam on fridays the stores will open pretty late but monday through thursday they will close up until six o'clock latest so if you live in a smaller town or if you're moving to a smaller town in the Netherlands, keep this in mind that yes, there's not going to be a huge variety of things. It's going to be a typically small Dutch town where maybe the supermarket is only going to have typically Dutch stuff. Um, but you also need to choose your supermarkets wisely. So if you do move to a smaller town, you can expect this. I think this is the same in any country. Smaller town means there's going to be less options. So if you want to have a whole variety of stores or food products, then you need to move to a bigger city. So guys, that's all I'm going to touch on today. I do have five more left. I will make that into a part two. We're gonna touch on something pretty deep that people always talk about, Dutch friends. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that a bit more in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please share in the comments if there's something specific you want to hear more about, or if you have any question, I would love to answer that. Uh, but stay tuned for my next video. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.